Nutrition myth number nine, salt intake causes high blood pressure. How many times have you heard someone say their doctor told them to avoid salt because of their high blood pressure? Not only is this flatly wrong, but low sodium levels can actually make hypertension worse. I could list a million health issues caused by a low sodium diet, but I'll give one example as to how it can make high blood pressure worse. Sodium is needed to get enough blood flow to the kidneys. If it is low, the kidneys respond by releasing a signaling enzyme called renin, which raises blood pressure to help get more blood flow to the kidneys. So avoiding salt can obviously make this worse. Salt is an electrolyte. You would die without it. Unlike some vitamins and glucose, your body cannot make its own. It's important to note that electrolytes don't only need to be at a certain level, but they need to be in balance with one another. So if you eat less of one electrolyte, it affects the balance with others. So why is high blood pressure such a growing problem? You guessed it. It's another case of the sugar industry funding misinformation to steer the blame onto something else. With heart disease, they lied and pinned it on saturated fat, and for high blood pressure, they blamed it on salt. Both have been disproven over and over, study after study. This is 1970s and 80s debunked crony science that they are still regurgitating. But I don't blame them for not wanting to admit that they've been killing people with bad advice, so they keep repeating it, killing even more. At what point does the evidence become so overwhelming that continuing to repeat these myths becomes medical malpractice? To give the old tall tale a fair shake, there are a few very old studies that said that participants avoiding salt reduced blood sugar by about 1-2%, to a very insignificant amount anyway. So they concluded that salt must cause high blood pressure because avoiding it lowered it by this tiny amount. A classic case of correlation does not prove causation. What they don't mention is that to avoid salt, people were eating less high carb foods. High carb foods tend to be heavily salted. Therefore, it may appear to work a tiny bit, but it did. But once properly controlled for in newer studies, they found out it doesn't work at all. And in many cases, a low salt diet makes hypertension worse. So how does sugar cause high blood pressure? Well, that would be an entire other video worth of information to explain. One of the many reasons is that your body's insulin response to sugar intake has a huge effect on nitric oxide in the blood, a vasodilator, which can greatly raise blood pressure. It's no surprise why the US barely breaks the top 50 in life expectancy in the world. Other countries don't believe this garbage sold to us by big sugar and big pharma to sell sweets and pills. Salt are not only necessary for survival for the sodium itself, but they are also nutritional gold mines, but they're not all created equal. I eat pink Himalayan salt on my food every single day. Sea salt and Celtic salt are also great, but getting enough salt through any source, even if that's refined white salt, is great for optimal health. Obviously, you can overdo anything. Drinking too much water can kill you. But there's no reason to avoid this essential electrolyte that is so crucial to the proper balance and functioning of dozens of systems in our bodies. 